Hey, what's up everybody? It's me Pakanozi and I'm back with something different for you today, a switch related tutorial. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to upgrade your micro SD card if you have a modified switch running Atmosphere custom firmware. The key thing we're focusing on today is bringing over your old EMU MMC partition or SD file setup to your new micro SD card. For those who don't know, if your switch is modified, you'll likely have a emulated version of your system NAND that sits on your micro SD card. You might have it set up either as a partition or with raw file setup directly on the SD card itself. Previously, I followed a video here on how to upgrade your SD card, but that one was focused mostly on stock systems. Since this involves some extra steps for a modified system, I decided to make this tutorial video. And with that, let's dive into it. So first thing first, you're gonna need a few things. First, you're gonna need your modified switch. Here I am using a special Mario Edition V2 switch. It's also known as Mariko in the modding community. You're also going to need a new micro SD card. Here I am using a SanDisk Extreme 512GB that I got for like 40 bucks here in Australia. And finally, a USB adapter to connect your micro SD card to your PC for file transfers. Um, over here I am using a USB-C adapter, but you can essentially use anything that you can get. One thing to note here is that the new card that I'm using has a reading speed of 190 and write speed of 130 MB. The read write speed of switch is around 90 to 100 MB. So this card is a bit of an overkill. So if possible, you can get any cheap and reliable card that you can get. It doesn't matter. So here I'm gonna show you how much space I have in my micro SD card. If you go into data management, you can see under micro SD card, I have around 43.9 gigabytes. And if we go into software, you can see I only have like eight games with Smash Brothers taking around 18 gigabytes. So now we're gonna turn off your switch by putting, pressing and holding the power button and then clicking on power off. So now I have hooked up my micro SD card with the computer and you can see that it is hooked up and it has given the name of disk 7 which is also disk K. Now remember that alphabet K because that's gonna come in handy when we are swapping over our old micro SD card data to the new one. You can also see that if we combine all these three uh, disks that you can see here it combines up to 128 gigabyte card which is my original samsung evo 128 gigabytes card that is currently in my switch now here i have hooked up my old micro sd card to the computer and what you're going to do is you need to copy all of these and make a backup of it on your computer so you can do either select them all like this or you can select by pressing ctrl a and then control C or right click and then copy and then you're gonna make a folder on your desktop or anywhere I'm gonna make it on desktop and you're gonna name it something that you can remember I'm gonna call it OG SD card so that is easier and I would remember what's it called and now you're gonna copy and paste all of the data from your micro SD card to here so that we have a copy here um, it's going to take some time because it's essentially going to copy everything from your micro SD card to your computer. So we're going to let it run for a while and then I'm going to come back to you once it's done. So now that it is copied and we know that it's copied that it is on my computer. We can see all of these files are here. So we're going to need a few softwares. Um, the first one that we're going to need is called NX NAND Manager. Um, if you search for it, you can go into their GitHub page, which is this one. And then on the right side, you can click on their 
um, download button here um, this one is 5.2 version um, by the time you would watch this video there might be a newer one but whichever version you have available just download it I can see that it hasn't been updated since 2022 uh, but it doesn't matter as long as it's this one it should be fine I've downloaded it extracted it and left a shortcut on my desktop which is this one and once it's there I'm gonna open it and it would have a window like this so as you can see you're going to go into file and then you're gonna go into open drive now remember the disk drive we had was K so it's K here I'm gonna double click on it and it would open up my micro SD card so my original micro SD card has been opened in this program it says here full NAND and it shows here 12 gigabytes which is the size of my NAND in my original switch and it has all the necessary items here like boot 0 boot 1 product info etc so all i am going to do it says here uh, you need to want to restore it or full dump and um, this is the full dump button i'm gonna click it and i'm gonna save it somewhere i can remember i'm pretty sure i wanna save it somewhere i can have it easily remember so i'm gonna just save it in the same folder i had the original backup done and i'm gonna save it here and it's gonna take some time as you can see it's telling me around like more than 10 15 minutes um so we're gonna wait for it to finish all righty so now it is finished we uh, need to close this close this and now what we need to do is we need to plug in our new micro sd card so i'll be back once i plug in that one Cool. so this is my new micro sd card as you can see it says 476 gigabytes free uh, but we need to prepare it so that it can be read by the switch um, if i right click on it you would see what we need to do first um, the thing is switch would read only fat32 format and this is not in fat32 so if we right click on it and we go into properties you can see that this is in XFAT. Um, you can't have a disk drive more than 32 gigabytes in FAT32 format, uh, but we need this drive to be in FAT32. So what we're going to do is we're going to download a software. So this is the software that I use. It's called FAT32 format GUI or graphical user interface. It's a very simple utility. You click on download now, and then it would download on your for as this file um, and it's very easy to use um, and you can download it from the same link i will leave the link in the description below um, once it's downloaded we're just going to open it all right so we are going to open this app and it's gonna select our micro sd card drive which is if you remember it was k and we're gonna select on it it should already be selected but i'm just making sure we're gonna leave allocation unit size at is is i'm gonna name this volume as switch just so that i can remember for future leave quicks format as it is you don't need to change it and we're just gonna click on start it would ask you do you want to format it's gonna remove all the data um yeah it's the new card so i don't care so press ok it will go through this whole deal and you'll see that once it's done you'll see a message that says done wait for until you see the word done there once it says it you should be all good to go um, and you're gonna close this app and we're gonna start with the next step all right so we're gonna close this and we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna open up our nx NAND manager again and now we are going to click on file and we're going to click on open file now remember the file that we made first before which was called full land we're going to double click on it and it has the same data that we had from our original micro sd card all the files are there now we're going to click on tools and we're going to click on this emu NAND creation tool and it would select your micro sd card already it has three options sd partition sd ams and sd ox 
Um, mine is in SD partition format, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And then I am going to select my backdoor SD card, which was K, if you remember. And then once it's selected, we are going to click on create EMU NAND button here. It would again tell you that it's going to be like everything on your data would be lost, which is fine. Just press yes. And this would take some time and we'll let it run until it finishes and then we'll come back to it. Cool. so it is almost done it took 11 minutes and 14 seconds we're gonna close this we're gonna close this and we're gonna close this now if we're gonna open up the micro sd card on the computer side and you'll see that there are two folders there already an emu nintendo and emu mmc folder now we're gonna go into our original backup that we did from the original sd card and we're gonna select all of the files and folders except for this emu mmc folder this is a separate one we're going to copy it afterwards but everything else we're going to paste it into the new folder again it would take some time it's telling me that it's going to take like around eight minutes so we're going to give it eight minutes and then we're going to come back to it cool so everything is copied now so what we're going to do, we're going to go into EMU MMC. We're going to go into ER00 in this folder. We're going to open the same folder in our original backup. We're going to go into EMU MMC folder. And over here, there would be a different folder called RAW1. We're going to go into RAW1 and we're going to copy this Nintendo folder and we're going to paste it into our mic new micro SD card. This would take some time as you can see it says 58 gigabytes around two hours it will come down but we'll just wait until it does cool so the nintendo folder is copied it took around an hour or so and now we're gonna go one step back we're gonna open up this emu mmc file this is a configuration file um, you can open it with any notepad if you want a word file i'm gonna open it with the notepad and you would see this here what we're going to do is we're going to copy the path which is emcu mmc forward slash er00 and we're going to paste it where it says nintendo path itself and then we're going to put another forward slash here then we're going to copy the name of the folder that we copied which is nintendo we're going to copy it and paste it in front of this we're going to save it by control s or you can cl click on file and then save and then we are going to do the last bit now all right this last bit isn't very important and not part of the tutorial but you can do it to verify that your new micro sd card is working so if you search for disk p on your windows computer it would open up disk partition manager on your computer um, and if you bring it here you can see that it has the new a micro sd card which is k and now you see it has 464 gigabytes rather than only uh, whatever it was before which was lower than this so we're gonna close this we're gonna take this micro sd card out and we're gonna pop it into our switch all right now we're running on our switch as you can see i'm playing animal crossing new horizon right now and if you can see it has still the same modified menu here and now if we go into settings and then we go into data management you can see under micro sd card it says 401 gigabytes so and if we go into the settings and if we go system you can see it's still running the same atmosphere and same firmware so that's how you update your micro sd card from the old one to a new one um i hope this video has been helpful um, if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. If you have any questions, let me know. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.